Seth is calling. Should we put Seth through? No. Seth? Yeah. Hey, hey it's Jerry. Jerry and Andy. Hi, Jerry and Andy. Hey, we just uh, we just miss you, buddy. <laughs> Do we need a reason to call? Uh, no, of course not. We just we're just thinking of you. How Actually. Are you guys doing? Actually, that's is, that's not completely true. I mean, we are we do think of you constantly. Jerry hit his thumb with and, a hammer, and your name came up. <laughs> was was Andy, yelled out. Was Andy dreams. <laughs> Andy dreams about you a lot, and and uh, yeah, and it's disturbing both of us. He's he's getting help. He's seeing a therapist, but he hasn't quite worked it out. Seth, and we have to we're tell calling, you the truth. We're calling from a recording studio in Santa Monica because we're doing the DVD commentary. Oh yeah. And this and this phone call is being recorded as well. <laughs> We, did, we didn't so, want to give you any advance uh, warning. Okay. We didn't want that smooth, slick uh, talk show, Seth Green. That's right. All right. We wanted the real Seth Green. The real. So tell us, what is the real Seth Green like? Uh, what what think, are you doing right now, by the way? I'm, I'm actually just getting ready to uh, go back to work. I'm working on uh, on uh, a TV show. And I just stopped, stopped by my house to let my dogs out because I haven't been outside for you know, six or seven hours, and have to go to the bathroom. You, so. You'd think uh, Seth Green. <laughs> you'd think Seth Green could afford a dog walker. Well, I, you know, I really don't like having other people take care of my my things for me. I have, you know, what I mean. You just your your own personal life starts to get out of hand when you have so many people doing things for you. You know, a lot of actors bring dogs with them to the set. I know the the studio where we're working. They have a strict uh, no animals law. Really? Do you want Jerry to call them and see what yeah, he can maybe do? Yeah, we should work would something you, Would you do that? I, I would refuse it. to work for them. Yeah. I don't think I would. Yeah, yeah I'd call <laughs> Peter right now. Yeah. And see. Yeah, that's non-negotiable. Yeah. I bring my puppy to the set. They so probably. Wait a, wait a minute. Have you guys just completely run out of uh, commentary for the movie? <laughs> yes, exactly. Isn't this off? isn't this pathetic? No. <laughs> we have nothing to say. <laughs> Actually, that's we started. Funny. That's a pretty funny idea. Have you, we uh, started doing a little bit of it, and we got so bored. <laughs> yeah, because because I've heard all of Jerry's lies, and he's heard all of my lies before. So we thought we'd uh, make some phone calls. Now about the Rat Race production. Do you remember? Uh, uh, what what memories uh, stand out most uh, for you, or, and are they good or bad memories? I, you know, I was so drunk most of the time. <laughs> That's I mean, what uh, we figured. I hardly even, I'm, I'm stunned anything is on film. Now, Jerry was remembering that you and Vince uh, walked in the first day and said, uh, we want to do our own stunts. Is, yeah, that something that, you re <laughs> is that something you regretted doing? That, it, 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 well, you know, you, you read a script like that, you just think, oh, we can do this, and, and you don't really have any idea as far as, <laughs> As far as what that really means, and uh, you know, we we thought it'd be cool because you always see the movie and you see the stunt guy, and you know, it just it takes you out of the movie. So we thought, all right, if, if we can do as much of this as possible, let's do it, and that's what we wanted to do. And like morons, we said, Jerry, we're gonna do it. <laughs> you, you give us the stunt, work, we'll do it. And uh, we did. We did most of it. So you were in the car. You, I know you were in the desert in the in the windstorm on the tower. Yeah. And the cows, you really did get big. You know, you should tell everybody that that the uh, that the cows are not soft. No, that that was a surprise actually, because you think most animals, you know, are soft, but cows are easily what, like fifteen hundred pounds. Well, they're and they're huge and heavy, but they're firm. It's all muscle on the yeah, side. There's no there there's no meat in between. I was hitting like hip bones. You know, and it's just solid. And everybody got upset. Like because Jerry oh, was it? Jerry was yelling, "Aim for the hip bone." <laughs> Well, you're kind of just a passenger. Neither the problem is neither you nor the cows have a lot of padding. <laughs> that's right. And we but should. I keep, we, I keep getting people asking me, you know, oh, yeah. oh, that's so mean to to hurt an animal. And I have to say, you know, I'm like, I'm like 120 pounds. Yeah. I don't. Know. I love the, the fact. That I don't. I don't think the cows even it. knew no, that, no that you were being swung around. I love the fact that people they see that, those <laughs> scenes and they're immediately worried for the animals. That's I right. Mean, these, it's, uh, that's right. Well, because they just assume all necessary. And I guess yeah. I guess we should uh, we should warn kids any kids that see the DVD or have seen the movie not to do that themselves go swinging on a, a rope into let's, a herd of cows. Let's be honest. If, if some young kid could orchestrate that stunt <laughs> in their backyard, yeah, don't go hanging from a hot air balloon with a cow, kids. Seriously, yeah. uh, we are trained professionals. Exactly. So, who have you called? Uh, did you call Vince yet? Uh, we did call Vince. We got him. He was doing his laundry. <laughs> 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 That's pretty exciting. Yeah. But he said he's he said he misses you. Yeah. yeah. You know, Vince and I we talked really briefly uh, a while ago, right when uh, right when all this right like a week after the movie came out, and then we haven't talked for a while. I've just been really busy, and I know he's been busy. Now, why don't you tell any uh, would-be actors watching uh, what uh, how you prepared for this particular role? For Rat 
race. Yeah. Um, you know, Vince and I actually did a significant amount of preparation. You, you, you wouldn't think so, but we really, he and I spent a lot of time together and um, went around driving in Calgary a lot just to kind of spend time in cars with one another and see how we would, see how we would get used <laughs> You guys to actually became really good friends. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, I think more than any, anybody else we, on the we, set, we, the two of you really... Uh, and now, did he, when he was mumbling, did you... Uh, was he actually saying things, or was he just uh, mumbling uh, incoherently and you would pretend to understand? So, sometimes he, he had specific words, but mostly it was like the intention. We just we spent a lot of time with each other, and we did we did a bunch of yoga together after the you know after a day of work, and we were um, we just hung out. I saw you playing time. Connect Four one day. Oh, that's right, that's right. We were playing a lot of Connect Four, a lot of travel. That's so. so that, that was so actually Eddie, my suggestion yeah. as director. I felt that that yeah. would really be helpful. That's, that's one good. thing I like to do with my actors. Yeah. Sometimes a little shoots and ladders would be good too. But Connect Four for the more experienced for this, actors. Yeah. Well, it's really hard to get a travel candy land, so yeah. you know, and you're moving location to location. <laughs> <laughs> no wait. Let's just let's just think. Is there any scene that people would want to know about that we're that we're forgetting? That final scene, maybe uh, uh, the uh, concert scene. Oh, you that know, was, you, you that, know what scene? Actually, you might be interesting to talk about. Sorry, sure, it would, of would course. Mind, but it is the concert scene. We're on the DVD. Uh, we're putting on the the outtake. That's like six minutes of of you and Vince trying to get out these lines. Right. Um, that that where you just kept. <laughs> cracking up any, well, any I mean, it, 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 it's a combination of so many things it's like we're all there it's really late but what happened was vince you know the more frustrated you get not being able to get something out or not being able to stop laughing the more angry in the scene you get so i'm pretty sure that you know we start out really just like put the money in the bag Dwayne. you know and by the end of it we're like Dwayne! Put the money in the bag. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just getting so frustrated. And also, Cuba is standing right behind Vince, and he would just laugh. He was just good for nothing that day. Yeah. Because uh, the second the second Vince would say something, I'm trying to keep a straight face. I would look over and see everybody behind Vince just laughing. So. And what can an actor do? Do you try to go to some place in your head? To... You just you just stay really in the moment. And you know, I'm supposed to be really angry, and we've been through this whole ordeal. And I, I don't want to give up this money, and my brother is pleading with me, and I don't know these people, and they're making fun of me, and you know you gotta you gotta try and come from that place to to not laugh, because if you acknowledge the fact that you're just a bunch of actors making a movie, you can't keep a straight face, and it doesn't it doesn't seem realistic on film. That was that was the thing. If I can sound really obnoxious for a second, that was the thing that that Vince and I really tried to concentrate on was all the ridiculous stuff that we had to do, making it feel like it was coming from a place. Of reality, like this is what these guys would do. This is the length that that they would go to. I think that's that's really what makes it work too. I mean, that's a, you. I just have to emphasize how important that that is. What you what you just des described, the fact that you guys were not letting on that you know that you know it's funny, or that you're in a comedy, or that you're funny at all. That yeah. you were totally sincerely. Playing your playing your roles and playing the the low intelligence level and also the total um, intensity of, of of wanting this money and, and also also it wasn't on the page. I mean, you guys brought it to to the screen, but the affection you guys had for each other, the love you guys. I mean, you were in every scene. You were either crying or hugging or both. And I think that that just audiences just ate that up. I yeah, think that's one reason why on the mouth at one point. Yeah, I saw that. Yes. <laughs> in the <laughs> pond, in the yeah, pond. Yeah, yeah. And we were yeah, so you did. Did you see that? Did you that see point. that one coming? What's that? Did you know that was coming? The no, kiss? it was. We we were in that pond for easily forty five minutes, uh -oh. and it was so cold um, that no amount of wetsuit or you know you just you just have to get in. You have to stay in, and we got to a really. Uh, hypothermic place, and you can see that we're just shaking, and we have no color in our faces, and we're just not okay. I and, really uh, felt sorry for you guys. Jerry, I, I'm standing Jerry, why outside. Did you, and, why did you take this moment to apologize? Just, you know, <laughs> Seth, I'm really sorry for what I put you through, but it was well, worth Jerry, it. Well, you got in the pond too. So that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's one fun. thing that but, I that I have to say about you, Jerry. Was anytime you asked us to do something, 
you were willing to do it first. Well, it looked like fun always, but then as soon as I realized how difficult it was, I got out fast. But it, <laughs> it, it uh, but you you were that that more than anything else. I mean, you you know, you guys were up radar towers and smashing cows and all that. But that moment, uh, particularly for you, um, because you don't have a lot of body fat, and to to <laughs> to be in that in that pond and that water was freezing, and and it was not a warm day. It was a cold. Uh, it was later in the afternoon, and it was it was cold, and and you were just you were just shaking, but you were in really a trooper because you just kept saying no keep doing it till you get it right jerry I, and you, I, at one point you looked i think i said uh, okay that's enough but you said wait a sec do you really have it or are you just saying this because you feel sorry <laughs> for so me pathetic, yeah. and you i can, said you can really see it on our faces too in the, in the moment because i say like i got the key and i sound like i'm a death door and yeah and we're, you, we're genuinely not okay <laughs> you really wanted to get out of there but you didn't want to leave until it was right until well, you knew it because I mean, you didn't come back and reshoot it a couple days later exactly if you don't if you don't get what you need yeah so, so I think we're there i, I mean we had to i didn't it. know it was cold and i didn't know i didn't know this backstory it to me it just looked like you had just been flying around on a balloon with a cow, right. you know, and just had just had been through the most traumatic experience of your life. Seth and really got beat up more than any other actor. I mean, just going in, he had more well, that's what physical you stuff to do, I think, in the movie than anybody. Before production, you said, my goal here is to put Seth Green through hell. Yeah. And, uh, and you did it. I'd, I guess I had heard some things about you, and I was angry, <laughs> yeah. but, but it turned out not to be true, so I'm yeah. kind of sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's all all's well that ends well. <laughs> no. All right. Well, we'll, we'll let thank you, get... you. Thank you for all of it. We'll let you get back to your. Now, are you uh... about to walk your dogs, or did you already do that? Oh yeah, I actually have to get going. Okay. But, uh... I I tell you what. Give the dogs an extra bone and send us the bill. Paramount is going to pick it up, okay? An extra bone for each wow. dog. And just for doing the DVD commentary here, we're, we're, we're Paramount Pictures will pick up the bill. There is, there is no bottom to your pocket. Wow. You know, that's great. Hey, take care. God bless you and your work. Thanks, guys. Thanks Say a lot, Seth. Say hi to your Seth. families. Okay. okay. I'll talk take to you care. Bye. Bye.